Well, hello and welcome to Gemonism Total Nerdy Channel for another little ship showcase. We're back into Star Maid for looking at a pretty newly completed vessel of the Gemonism Industries. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is the Arbalest. A pretty intimidating looking. intimidating looking. looking intimidating ship. Um, it's a gunship. Um, basically, a one-man army of 42,000 blocks. Um, it's pretty fat and bulky and packs some pretty heavy weapon systems and a decent shield. Um, well, let's look into it. It uses the... Uh, what is it? The, the, the separately re separately released also if you wish Hobbits 9 Hobbits 9 is our newest Hobbitser cannon or Hobbits uh, and it has three barrels of uh, total death with some pretty pretty heavy penetration on the shots indeed um, what do we more have? We have the hangar bay. This is, by the way, a uh, rebuild of the Busse beam ship, but we rebuild it quite a lot. Um, and it's not a beam ship anymore, so it's a gunship now. But it uses the base of that at least, and it's a good base. This one is actually not only designed to fight battles in the front line, this is also pretty nice for freighting stuff. The freighting bay of this thing is huge. 70,000k you can haul with this thing. Uh, and we have some thrusters to back up such a movements, movement. So it's faster than the general uh, GI warship. The general GI warship usually is around slightly above 100. Uh, but this is, what is it now? 130. Hopefully it counters for the uh, um, the cargo you can take. On the other hand, it doesn't matter if you're slow because you have the firepower to back your cargo up. Is the plan anyways. Now what do we have here? We have four AMS turrets, two Medlos and two Compact Mark II. Um, to keep you safe from most missiles. It's... Um, it's not one of the heaviest anti-missile systems, but they're pretty effective, so um, you'll be probably just fine. We have two um, two auto cannons and two docked machine guns, which will fire on a selected target. These big turrets will also fire on selected targets, so you don't have them messing around with two small vessels. Here we also have some pretty small um, uh, defender models, John Silver version, uh, to take out your small threats going around you. And we already have a docking. Probably you should change this to faction. <laughs> I'll do it in an update coming soon. Uh, anyways, you can dock here and you can go into the ship here and if you don't have you know in the faction you can activate this blast door from inside with the inner ship remote to add some extra safety uh, this ship comes with it uh, we put in a little um, saber space bike here as to use as a shuttle it's pretty neat to maneuver around and easy to open the doors here getting out if you want to get out in this oops this door here you can get out here too which makes it more easy I tried to use some interesting plating onto the sides here to add some more diversity to the build um, and give it some, you know, uh, personality. We have thrusters stacked in the side here, which are pretty, you know, heavy, and we have the racks to hold the enormous turrets. And the inside of the ship looks pretty nice, uh, if I can say so myself. It's pretty cozy and pretty big. Of course, if you are system crazy, you could pack this place with loads of more interior. We have a little bathroom and tentacle shower area here if you'd like to, and we have three um, simpler bunk beds. 
this is not meant to hold a uh, lots of personnel it's more of a uh, fighter type where you get in get your job down and get back to base basically but if need be um, there is place for three people and two extra supportive commanders on the side here to help you with commanding the turrets maybe um, anyways we have a little you can see a little hood here too just to look a bit nice um, and then we have the front view easy access to the AI if you'd like to put turn on some automatic battle when you go and do something else basically um, we should test this out in battle maybe so let's spawn now I don't know if I you know we just load and uh, okay spawn two medium fighters there and I think I need to activate these a little bit so entity structure and what is it we have AI no what is it and the structure, of course, I mean. We need to scroll down to Rain System Collective and reset all turret, activate all turrets, uh, activate all AI turrets, yes. No, no. Okay. Sometimes you have to click several times. Anyways, um, the turrets are heavy. And if we just face this enemy here, we see that the turrets start to fire and they make pretty of course this ship is small so these are have 31 33 blocks of penetration and it will shoot straight through of course um, what do we have for systems well we have um, controls for hangar door and stuff like that. We have a small scanner, a radar jammer which you can run and a pretty big jump drive so you can you know get somewhere not painfully slow which is nice. The beam system we have a long-range beam with uh, almost full explosive effect so we can deal some pretty good damage and pretty deep penetration and with this one it actually has what is it 26 blocks of penetration so it's nice and deals good damage from a long range and then we have a auto cannon with explosive on that one too as manual weapons the other weapons are on two uh, selected entity basically so if we select this you can see um, now the docked cannon, the docked AI things may not have been fixed yet, so they're a little bit weird, and it feels more random if such work or not. But that will surely be fixed in future. I do hope. Um, otherwise, if they choose to instead not fix it, instead of disable or more disable it, we should of course exchange those systems. But they're pretty nice, anyways, and. Uh, if you just aim, they often work. <laughs> you can see it fires shells at the enemy. It's not us firing, so that's pretty nice. And we can fire the auto cannons here. Of course, when you battle with the ships, um, you probably want to set up thrust a little bit more so. You know, customize it probably a bit to left and right, I suppose, for this type of vessel. It feels like the machine gun shoots in burst for some reason. That's weird. We should not forget to use this, because of course this huge gun on the top is the beam, which we can deal some good damage with. Which is nice. Oh well, this has more ship. What is this? Power Station Delta. Let's go into combat with this one because we're crazy. Now I don't remember the range of the long range beam. Let's check that out. I think it was maybe 3000. Yep, nice. 
Well, we took down the shields at one blast. That's nice. And our huge cannons come into range. Nice. Of course, um, battles in Star Maid still take a while to perform, so we won't take out this whole thing. I just wanted to demonstrate the power of this ship a little bit. Um, so, the thing is, I want to, you know, if you have a couple of these in the fleet, it would be kind of cool just bring this in and it will shoot at heavy artillery targets to take down pretty big enemies um, pretty you know nicely uh, if you have auxiliary of course the turret will hit at you know any shot these machine guns are not as deep penetration or ra rather out of cannon they're just the supportive system actually the main system is this beam um, it's a good beam Oh well, our systems are working. Ooh, it looks like... Well, one of them is firing constantly at least. It's a good heavy machine gun though. Oh well. I just wanted to show you off, uh, show off this little ship for a little while. So, I'll say thank you very much for watching. And, uh, well, get it on the dock if you're interested. Or even better, get inspired. Anyways, Jimmy Total Learner Channel, signing out.